Good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great delight to be here. Uh, this is always a community that uh, I warm to. I feel I'm at home when I come to a foresight uh, workshop. And so Steve had just mentioned that uh, I was the uh, 2007 Feynman Prize winner in uh, the experimental mode. The very nice thing about that particular occasion was that one of my um, ex-students, David Lee, uh, collected the prize for uh, theory, so that was uh, quite a comforting thing. I think it augurs well for uh, people who win the Feynman Prize. Uh, I hope more and more people will get further honours of this uh, high type. I just think it's magic. I don't know any other organisation that's actually doing this to the extent that uh, foresight is and you know the I think proof of the pudding is in the eating there are five teams in there and as I looked at each table they are by and large quite a eclectic mixture of uh, people with very very different backgrounds and uh, they will surely come up with uh, some interesting proposals this afternoon it only takes one person to go away and start thinking in a new direction which is uh, what a workshop like this is going to do I've been a huge supporter myself and participated in many collaborations throughout my uh, whole academic career, and still do. I, there's one person in the room, Bill Goddard uh, from Caltech, with whom I've uh, collaborated now, I think, for 15 years. You know, he's here, he's over 80, and uh, he's as enthusiastic about what he's doing as I presume he was when he was 18. I think um, there's been a rich uh, group of people as I've uh, looked at it over the years and you know the two women Christine and Marcia are very very special and of course it takes special people to uh, bring about something uh, as memorable at this stage as foresight 